Tension filled the air in the days leading up to humanity's invasion of our planet, like a dense fog blanketing the sky. As a Bonshin commander, I was aware that invasions were on the way, yet it happened so quickly. Our intelligence reports indicated increasing human activity in our sector, but we had no idea when or where the invasion would take place. Every waking hour was spent preparing for the impending attack. We fortified our fortifications, planted floating mines in our atmosphere, and stationed artillery and anti-ship weapons to repel any landing attempt. The boundary between our sector and humans, formerly thought to be invincible as the first line of defense, was blasted in a single sweep by human military forces. Human envoys visited our worlds for 50 cycles, attempting to persuade our leaders to abandon slavery and the mistreatment of other species in our sector. Each time humans visited our planet, they left with empty promises from our leaders. However, when our fleet destroyed three refugee transport ships on their way to human space, they were enraged and terminated all negotiations with our leadership. None of the military authorities could understand how quickly humans mobilized their fleet and began liberating, as they put it, planets in our sector. One after another, species from our sector joined the human military, pushing us all the way back to our home planet. Every soldier recognized the gravity of the situation and the critical role we played in defending our home planet against human invasions. In the darkness of night, we patrolled the sky, watching the horizon for signs of movement. Each flicker on the radar screen signaled that a storm was approaching. As the first light of dawn emerged over the horizon, the sky was silent, interrupted only by the distant rumble of mechanized units. If we survived, it would be remembered as the longest day in our people's history. From my vantage point on the bluffs overlooking the sky, I watched in quiet as the horizon lit up with the shadows of human ships. Then it started. The sound of human ships droned overhead as we braced ourselves for the oncoming storm, knowing that our world's fate was in the balance. Wave after wave of landing craft approached the surface, filled with soldiers eager to storm our walls. First shells began to rain down upon our positions. Explosions rocked defenses, sending plumes of smoke and debris spiraling into the sky. The ground trembled beneath our feet as the full fury of the human onslaught was unleashed upon us. But there was no panic. Each soldier knew his duty and was prepared to lay down his life in defense of his home planet. As the first landing craft crashed onto the surface, the sound of gunfire erupted like thunder in the distance. The beachhead became a maelstrom of chaos and confusion as our machine guns opened fire and human soldiers fought to gain a foothold on the sand. Our artillery roared to life, raining down a hail of shells upon the advancing enemy forces. The screams of the wounded mingled with the roar of gunfire. The battle carried on, with each side fighting desperately for supremacy. The shores were stained with the blood of the killed. Even as the sun began to set on our home planet's blood-soaked sands, the battle continued uninterrupted. As nightfall descended on the battlefield, we prepared for the long night ahead. The sounds of combat hung in the air, a frightening reminder of the horrors that had occurred on this terrible day. As the darkness of night enveloped our home planet, a somber silence settled over the battlefield. The sound of battle had ebbed away, replaced by the mournful cries of the wounded and the distant rumble of artillery fire. We surveyed the desolate landscape, littered with the wreckage of war. The landscape, once pristine and unspoiled, now bore the scars of the deadliest invasion in the history of our people. The toll of that day had been staggering, with countless brave soldiers laying down their lives in defense of their home planet. We mourned the fallen, their names forever etched in the annals of history as heroes who had made the ultimate sacrifice. As we tended to the wounded and buried the dead, we vowed to carry on the fight. The battle for our planet was far from over, and the humans would undoubtedly press their advantage in the days to come. But we would meet them with the same determination and courage that had carried us through the darkest hours of the day when humans arrived. In the days and weeks that followed, we continued to defend our positions against human attacks. The fighting was brutal and unforgiving, but we could not stop the enemy. 
The humans made gains on the ground, pushing deeper and expanding their occupied territory with each passing day. But we fought on, and I couldn't stop thinking if this was the time when my race would become slaves.